afternoon, Cindy Dole here, and this is our two of Home Wizards, your radio home for all things home, garden, and life improvement. We cover it all inside and outside because this is the place where we love to just help you come home and say, you know what? I've arrived and things feel pretty darn good. You can call on in, by the way, if you'd like to join the conversation at 888-KFWB980, 888-539-2980. And just a second, we're going to get back to Bruce Littlefield talking about some great ways to decorate your Christmas tree, but also some great ways to stretch your budget. And I know you might be thinking shopping at a garage sale for a Christmas present might sound tacky, but just work with me here. It's going to be good. You're going to love it. Then a little bit later on, uh, we have quite the display here in the studio. Thanks to our friends at Monrovia Nursery. Wow, we have holly and we have all kinds of, is that hydrangea? Um, Camellia? Yeah, we have beautiful things. He's whispering. <laughs> We're going to talk about ways to bring uh, color to your winter garden. Um, of course, we can't forget the poinsettia and other uh, holiday bulbs and things like that. And just some new uh, and exciting plants to look forward to for your garden in the new year. So that's all coming up here uh, in the next hour. 888-KFWB980 is the number. And again, the website, you can always go back and listen again at cindydole.com. So let's get back, Seth, to uh, Bruce Littlefield and some of the great ways to make your holiday cheer look a little brighter. So, yeah, so as uh, Bruce Littlefield, who's just a great guy, he's written all kinds of fun books that you have to check out, including Merry Christmas, America, and the list goes on. Um, He also just has a knack for just bringing um, good things to your world. And so I thought we'd have him here to talk about uh, getting your Christmas tree to look like a designer. And he told us how to get the lights going. Bruce, thanks for that. Are you into um, using things you already have around the house on your tree, like maybe, oh, I don't know, some old photos or things like that? Oh. Absolutely. I've done a lot of that this year, in fact. And I have, I've done uh, yarn balloon ornaments where I've taken a, a balloon, a little small balloon, and wrapped yarn around it and popped the balloon and made those into um, cute little ornaments. Oh. I've, done, I've done silver boxwood bunches where I, I took my clippings of boxwood and I made a little bunch with a ribbon and spray painted that silver. They look great on a tree. Um, uh, I've done... Uh, newspaper print, or you can do it with butcher paper too. But I've done cones with, you know, filled with. You can do them with candy. You can do them with an ornament inside. You know, I've done things like that. You can do mittens on a tree. My friend Molly has done her, her tree all in mittens. That's cute. Yeah, it's cute. And then she's going to give the mittens to um, uh, New York Cares in New York um, after the holidays, so that kids will have some mittens to keep themselves warm for the. Oh, that's very cute. What about if you're a pet lover? It seems like you could you could do something really Ooh, cute. I love those questions. Yes. yes, I am a pet lover, and yes, I I I always say do not forget to decorate something for your pet. Yeah, so, you know, dress up the bowl, make it look good, or dress up your pet. They might not like it for the yeah <laughs> for the first twenty minutes, but then they get used to it. Or you know, make sure that that your pet has something that makes them feel great over the holidays as well. Yeah. All right. Well, what about helping us feel great and those that we love feel great and this whole garage sale thing? I mean, mm-hmm. you got to break it to us gently. Some people, Bruce, may not think that that's a cool thing to do, that it's tacky, to get a Christmas well, present. Poo-poo a gr- on them. Yeah. <laughs> I know you found Listen, I know you found amazing things, so kind I of... I did. Yeah, All yeah. summer long, I have been collecting. I have a box underneath my guest bedroom that has great presents for, for people that I have, um, I, I love and adore. And, and all you need to do, really, is think, okay, well, my friend Jeff, he, he's a stylist, so when I found a vintage hair uh, blower from, oh. you know, the 1950s, oh, I thought, oh, my gosh, it's Jeff. Yeah, yeah. Um, when I found my friend Colleen, she is the hugest bingo player. I went out shopping at, at a garage sale and saw a vintage bingo set. I guarantee you when she opens it, she will be delighted. And, you know, with my dad, I always find him tools. Uh, I've, I've years have sent him uh, uh, fishing rods. <laughs> yeah. You know, and things like that indicate They're thoughtful. The that you, yes. They, it yeah. tells the person, hey, I know you. Yeah. And, and I was out shopping uh-huh. and realized this was you. And I thought about you. took the time. I didn't just go down, oh, my gosh, and, or go to the closet. Any old generic yeah. thing will do, right? Exactly. Yeah. And 
to me, I think that really is, and it sort of captures for me the essence of the holiday. You know, I think that that's really a great idea. And I'm, I'm guessing, too, I mean, the antique store thing could fall into the same category. It could be a garage sale or, you know, anything yeah. previously the, used. The, the junk shop. Yeah. You know, here's an example. Um, I mean, talk about being the, green, you know. Yes. Yes. Ex- oh, well, it doesn't get more green than that. Yeah. And, you know, I have friends that the thing to get them is booze. Let's be honest. They love booze. So I don't want to just give them booze. Yeah, you got to give them something else in addition to it, right? Mm-hmm. So you go to a, a garage sale and you find the perfect cute toolbox or an old, you know, uh, I have a Lipton's coffee box this year that I'm going to give to somebody. Or some old gonna, uh, wine glasses, some, you know, some great. Yes, exactly. Yeah. You know, Crystal. It's, it's realizing who your friends are, mm-hmm. what they like, and, and don't just um, think that, that – just store-bought is going to be great, and don't get me wrong, going to the store is fantastic and fun. Love blue boxes. All- <laughs> I will never turn down a blue box, just so you know, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, next time I'm on, I'll stop by. I mean, a keychain, come on, 20 bucks. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know. And, and those kind of gifts are the kind of gifts that I say are um, heirlooms. They become, you know... M- uh, memories that that um, transcend the normal gift because those are the gifts that you say, oh, I went to the special store and I bought, um, mm-hmm. uh, you know, a keychain for you because I love you and I think you're special and I know you love the blue box. Yeah, <laughs> but, but I think you can also supplement that with, like, let's say we take the blue box and then you find the most adorable. Um, uh, vintage Elf mm-hmm. at a uh, garage sale, which I have several this year, and they're going on the outside of my pa- my wrapping. People will love that as well because you're giving them a double gift, something you know that is okay, store bought, and then another thing that says, "Hey, I know you collect cl- elves," yeah. or "Hey, I know you love." Uh, I collect vintage. Santas, you know. Yeah, there you go. Well, now I've written down two things for you. Yeah, <laughs> but no. <laughs> you know, but seriously, I think that if, if we were to start just making a list this weekend and thinking of all those people we care about that are on our two by four, you know, we could just think, hey, what, what, what is it, that one thing that they love to do? And then that'll help get us started for um, for garage sailing for them, huh? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And and if if you're in a town that, you know, the garage sale season has died out, remember there are junk stores, there's the Salvation Army, there are thrift shops, you know, there are other ways to find unique merchandise besides going to the garage sale. Hmm. So what else are you up to that we can look forward to in, in the coming months? And- well, in the coming months, I have my great dog book there he coming is. out, and my dog is barking on cue at that. <laughs> Hello! Um, but he's very excited by that. Um, yes, I have a uh, dog book, the, the first of its kind, the bedtime book for dogs. Oh, that love will it. be out in the spring, and I can't, I can't wait to be back with you. You got it. Talk about that. Because, you know, I love dogs, too, and I think just about yeah. everyone uh, yeah. who listens to the show either loves cats or dogs or some kind of pet, because I think they're such a big part of our home, you know, so. Yes, 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 we well, are. so Bruce, I want to tell people to find you on Facebook and your website, which is brucelittlefield.com. And um, if you missed seeing him on uh, on the show this morning on CBS, by now the video must be up so you can see him in action, yes, right? And I'm told I'll be on uh, uh, the uh, early show again within two weeks, and we'll see how that goes. Awesome, awesome. And I want to talk to your mom sometime, too, because she's an amazing lady. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. She'll, she'll appreciate that. Give yeah, a quick, you know, he- we only have a few seconds, but a quick headline of who she is. She's a rags to riches story, big time. Well, that's not my mom. No? That's my, that's my angel, my friend, Barbara Corcoran. She's not your mom? many, many things, and I, and I have done a great book with her, and a lot of people think I'm her son, but I'm really not her son. I'm well, just her adopted. great friend. Hey I'll, hey, I'll be her adopted daughter any day. <laughs> <laughs> she seems amazing. Well, you're yes. an incredible guy, too, so if I don't talk to you before Christmas, have a great one, and thanks yes. for all the terrific ideas. Merry Christmas, Cindy. Thank you so much okay. for having me on your show. You got it. it. Really Next fantastic. time, you got it. Uh, coming up as we take a quick break, we're going to segue to the garden, and there's so many beautiful things here in our studio that are, that are just going to really tantalize you, I think, whether you are an active gardener or a wannabe gardener or have a gardener on your shopping list, some fun things to bring to uh, have that nature look for the holidays. Cindy Dole, Home Wizards, the fun continues after this. 